Hello, my soccer universe. Uh, I almost thought about titling this video and what is new or what can I tell you because in many ways everything that I keep on saying uh, in my Iberian reviews, it is so repetitive because it nothing really changes all that much. And there was not anything really, really outstanding until we had this Basque Derby, who was also uh, headed for a rather boring uh, draw or whatever, and then suddenly it exploded at least on one side of the coin. So yeah, uh, <laughs> it's really, honestly, the La Liga title race is, without it ever having been started, is over again. And I think the only other thing is that now uh, we hear again these resurrection stories for Bar Barcelona. Barcelona, not quite Dortmund level, but is very up and down. I mean, they have great performances and then they have so-and-so performances and then have performances where they cannot score and, uh, and so on. So it is, um, yeah, I'm very in Barcelona. It was an impressive win at Valencia, I gotta say, but I also have to have to say that defending was not all that great on the side of Valencia and, you know, few VAR decisions could have maybe gone the other way as well in uh, some cases. So, you know, I don't want to take away from Barcelona. Uh, they are getting something going. Uh, and there are some signs that for improvement as compared to what we saw in the fall. Uh, but I'm still holding my judgment in many ways. But we're not starting in Spain, we will spend lots of time there, uh, but we go into Portugal where, yes, I could see a little bit of a Portuguese game, uh, not Boavista against Benfica, uh, who what ended in a 2-2 draw again. Rather disappointing result for Benfica Boavista. Um, yeah, despite getting this one point, uh, we'll, as we'll, we'll see even losing a few spots uh, in the process. No, I saw a good chunk of Sporting against Sturil. Uh, typically what do you expect Sporting? After being battered by uh, Man City, come coming back and actually have 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 a decent showing against the Sturil side. We have to say have been uh, starting really well in the season, but maybe are coming uh, the wheels are coming a little bit off now. Uh, the first goal though was the one. I mean Pedro Gonzalez is never gonna or score an easy goal. It was a long range shot that the goalie. Uh, Paris right into his path and he can't put it into the M. M, 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 M. And after the red card uh, for Sturil in the 64th minute, uh, I basically stopped watching. Maybe I should have uh, kept, kept, kept on, but then Rajan Sarabia make it an uh, emphatic score. But at that point, for me, the game was done. Um, and then uh, Porto against Mora Range also a uh, 1 0 away win. Really not much new here, uh, but we can have a look at the standings because that is always interesting where uh, Porto now are still strong favorites with six points to go, Sporting only having outside uh, chances. As always, it is very interesting what happens uh, in the lower mid table, in if not re relegation fight, because except for Belenenge and potentially unfortunate, uh, potentially slash unfortunately, because I... Do have some liking for Tondela, uh, only for geographical reasons. <laughs> I don't have any association with them, <laughs> but they are also finding themselves. But it's a really tough battle at the moment where you could see uh, quite a few teams getting implicated. Um, just want to have a look at the fake fictions in the next round. Uh, yeah, uh, Porto against Gil Vicente is a potential trap game, as is uh, travel to Maritimo for Sporting. But, you know... Um, as I said, the Port 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 Portuguese League, uh, since Sporting did not win against Porto, I think it's all Porto all the way. Uh, the La Liga is also uh, Real Madrid all the way, but the uh, reigning champions had a real stinker in the midweek, losing to last place Levante. That must have hurt. Uh, Molero getting that one. I always have to say that uh, Levante, at least at the beginning of, of the season, were rather unlucky with the results they didn't get. And now they're down there and are probably going down. Which is a little bit sad because they are one of a uh, team that actually has had themselves quite established in La Liga. Uh, and, you know, having two teams from Valencia would have been nice, but, you know... Sometimes change is also, also also good. As for the results, Rayo is also a team trending in the wrong direction. Um, Villarreal, 
former winner of Granada. Granada team that's also trending towards re relegation. A team that has actually been doing quite well. Uh, Real Madrid don't come back with a very uh, not Real Madrid Atletico come, come come back with a very athletic performance with a three 0 win over Osasuna. So go figure. Uh, I'm wondering who will show up against Manchester United. Although I really cannot see Atletico Madrid advancing against Manchester United. As flawed as United are. I don't see Atleti really challenge, challenging there. Uh, Cadiz against Gaddafi was a 1-1 draw. Uh, Real Madrid against Alaves, 60 minutes of boredom. I did not watch that game, I just saw the highlight, highlight, highlight later. 60 minutes more or less of boredom. And then Asensio and especially the Vinicius Junior, junior goal. Yeah, there you saw some nice stuff then. Uh, they, Benzema turned it on, assisted goals, and then uh, Real Madrid was in a, in another league and converting a penalty in the end, um, putting a little bit of pressure on Sevilla, who crumble, who crumble. Only one one against Espanyol. And Espanyol said they has been taking points from Barcelona as well. So um, they had the lead through Rafa Mir. However, Espanyol come back uh, and are there. Gets the equalizer in the 50th, and uh, Sevilla. Um, might try as they may it was an open game they could have gotten more out of it potentially but they didn't and that's again severe in a nutshell i said already uh, most of the stuff i can say about the valencia barcelona game uh or before i mean it was a rather even game however uh for a the last team, Valencia are defend Valencia's defending is really atrocious. And so, you know, leaving Aubameyang so much space with a very high defend defending line that Jordi Alba can play a ball nice and Aubameyang has enough space to get it in. You undo yourself there. I think they were done uh was the they had some uh, good chances uh, then, but then uh, Frank Vinny and Dembele um assist Frank doing in a nice team goal. That was Barcelona like. Makes it 2-0, uh, Aubameyang uh, even gets it a 3-0, but I won, yeah, makes it 3-0. At a time where I really felt this was a little bit too too much, uh, Carlos Soler had a goal this a lot. And there were a few VAR decisions where I always thought, yeah, I, 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 I actually think it was one goal for Barcelona that I was surprised that it stood, because seemingly there was, I cannot now remember, but it was a little bit odd this first time. Uh, loads of things from the VAR booth did there were three uh, VAR reviews and they all went against Valencia. And at least one of these, I'm not sure whether it was right. Carlos Serrera, after the half, pulls one back, uh, but there was no comeback. And Oboy Mayang makes the third one um, and the fourth for Barcelona. Although I think the goal was all Pedri in many, many ways. As I said, uh, the performance of Bar Barcelona also already against Napoli was not that bad. It was actually quite good and uh, slightly you can see now what Barcelona want to do. However, um, when I look at some of the players like Obama Young and so on come coming in, uh, it's not yet the finished article. It's a tr it's very much there's a transition feel to it. And I want to see them really against a really big team. Valencia is, is a challenge, but Valencia at the moment is not a team that knows where it really stands. So. Um, Gotta see. Atletico Madrid also for me is not the measuring stick. Because Atletico Madrid are in utter disarray in many, many, many ways. Probably the most enjoyable team to watch at the moment are uh, Betis. Uh, the 2 1 over Mallorca may be uh, a little bit tighter than they won, but you know, you just had the Europa League tie trip and, and so on. So getting the win is actually a big thing, especially since many teams, uh, although it's not so prevalent in Spain, many teams that had. Um, Europa, uh, uh, European fiction in the midweek were struggling. Uh, Moreno gave them the lead, then uh, Muriki gets an equalizer, uh, but uh, f a little bit after, I really just say penalty settles the um, win for Betis. Um, Betis are very, very in there in this third spot. Uh, out of European contention, one might say is Real Sociedad. Uh, that game against Leipzig must have cost them a lot of uh, energy in many ways because it was a rather energyless performance of Real Sociedad. First, first of all, I mean, Basque Derby, I have now watched a few and they rarely delivered a great game. I'm still waiting for Basque Derby to deliver a great game. Uh, the atmosphere though was amazing. 
and you know Bilbao is probably one of the best stadiums um, in Europe for uh, that regard. And what I also like is that you could see that this is was no, is not a, a hate rivalry; it's a friendly rivalry because you could see many uh, fans being intermixed. Um, but what there was not really much happening until there was a penalty that Ike Munain uh, has see saved. It was actually a really good save. Uh, but then. The, well, um, uh, Bilbao was a little bit more in the game and did more for the game. There was really nothing coming from Real Sociedad. I thought, yeah, this might be a lucky 1-0 win. And then uh, Vivian, after Berenguer Cross, heads it in. 1-0. And then all the floodgates open. And Athletic Club exploded to the biggest win I heard since 1959. And I think it has been since the 70s that they scored four against the Russell Stars. So a really, really big win. Uh, and probably, probably the, the player who changed everything was uh, Sunset who came on for Raul Garcia. So Sunset, he scores the second one, then Iñaki Williams, of course, scores. And then Ike Munin makes up for his penalty, but he miss a 4-0, very emphatic win. And as I said, Basque explosion. Um, and Levante also get another point. This time against uh, Celta Vigo, who also a team that are not going really anywhere uh, fast. So, quick look at the standings. Honestly, title done. We know that. Uh, Sevilla and Betis, both Sevilla teams are really, really, really looking good. And wait for the next round, what is coming up. Barcelona, I think I would favor at the moment uh, over Atletico Madrid. The question is, are four points for Betis enough at the moment? The model says no. But I have a feeling that Betis is a better team than uh, Atletico Madrid at the moment. I would be very happy to see Betis go in there. Villarreal uh, seems to be also a team that I think could challenge Atletico Madrid and overtake them. Real Sociedad though is on the way out. They're currently in the seventh spot and I'm not sure if that is correct here because I think um, one of those orange spots goes to the cup winner. And there's Betis in there, in which case seventh from the league would make it. But then as a Bilbao, yeah, mm -hmm, they might make it. And the other ones are Rayo, Vallecano and Valencia, who will not make it into the top seven. So Real Sociedad is on a very precarious spot at this very, very moment. Um, on the bottom, actually, it looks kind of uh, decided in many ways, but, you know, still a few games to play. Next round, the big one is Sevilla against Real Betis. That is the Seville Derby. And then we have also Barcelona against Athletic Club. Maybe this is a more of a challenge for Barcelona, especially coming from Na Na Naples as well. So I'm curious to see that one. Um, Athletic Club is definitely a team on the rise. So yeah, that's it from me from the Iberian Peninsula. I really hope that we have something uh, more exciting, like a big win for uh, in the Seville Derby or, you know, uh, Athletic Club uh, doing something, Barcelona, Barcelona finally showing their colors. Or maybe Rayo beating Real Madrid. That would also be a fun thing. Then we would have really something to talk about. But I can see that La Liga is a so-and-so league this season. Let's put it that way. In any case, give me a thumbs up. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!